guys, what you doing? I am playing the nunnery game. Uh, or games, I guess. This is a kind of different, um, I guess, type ho uh, horror type game, and I'll explain in just a moment. This is really cool. So just so that you know, the nunnery games, first of all, is a compilation, I guess is what I would call it, of... It's essentially a compil- just to kind of break it down. It's a compilation of a couple of games. So, uh, the first game that came out was on the Nintendo DS, it was called 999. And it essentially meant nine people, nine doors, nine hours. Um, and then they had a follow-up game, that game came out on the Nintendo 3DS, and the, uh, PlayStation Vita. And... Uh, that game was, I think, uh, Zero's Last Reward, or Virtue's Last Reward, there we go. Hey, cool. Uh, Zero's Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. And that was part two in the, in the, in the, uh, storyline. And then they just recently released, uh, Zero Time Dilemma. Well, I was not able to capture on those handheld devices, I was not able to capture those games. I didn't have any way of doing it, so... Uh, they released them on the PlayStation 4, and now I have a way of capturing them, and we're gonna- I'm gonna show them to you. And I'm not gonna show you all three. I'm not even gonna go in order. I am gonna show you the second game today, which is Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, the reason that is is because it has voice acting, so I don't have to read everything in nine different voices or- or whatever. Um... These games are very, very, very creative. I very much enjoy them. Uh, to give you a... A genre for these games because I know every this is this is for October I guess because it is technically horror and suspense but I think the thing that really uh, uh, resonates in this is that unlike the other games that I've kind of uh, intended to show off in October um, it's not just blatant blood guts and horror it's a visual novel it's what they call a visual novel and a there we go a visual novel is essentially we're gonna do um, Skip text. Uh, we'll turn it on just in case. Cursor speed fast. Uh, the music's probably fine. We definitely want the spoken language to be English so you guys can hear it. Hopefully, they have to... So I'm pretty darn sure they have subtitles. And we're gonna start from the beginning. These games all have multiple endings, multiple paths, multiple ways that it can go. This game is a work of fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in the... Uh, December 25th, 2028. So here we are. Ten years in the future, roughly. Uh, but anyway, what I was get, getting back to is that this is what we call a visual novel. A visual novel is essentially a... it's a story. It's completely based on the story. There are puzzles in it. Definitely it is a puzzle game. But I think the thing about this, I want to try a different type of story. Uh, or a different type of horror game. And in that, I want to do the story. So, I'm gonna have to be Sigma. Sigma doesn't uh, actually talk. That's all he said. There you go. Ow. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Oh, I'll put the thing in the bottom. I'm gonna read this uh, as verbatim as it is on the screen, um, which means it's probably gonna... This is... I don't think these are rated M games, but uh, they, they probably are gonna have language. You can see that. So I'm gonna put the little warning down there in the bottom, so... Wait. Where the hell am I? I don't know what will make him sound like Clint Eastwood. That's an easy voice for me, because um, I have kind of a, a lower voice, and I it's kind of progressively getting lower. So, uh, you guys are probably hearing it, but it's kind of, my voice is kind of pro progressively getting lower, like really, um, it's kind of weird. But anyway, point being, it's kind of easy for me to drop into like the Clint Eastwood-y type, type sounds. Sorry about that, so. Looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? No. God, and that's what I'm gonna say. God, who the hell are you? Also, if I do the overacting Japanese, the that kind of thing, it you know, right? Uh, okay, let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response. You always this friendly, or did I kick you while you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. 
Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. The cool thing is this game does look a lot sharper. Playing on the little screens, there is... Okay, so just so you know, my way of playing... I wanted to play this on the big screen. The, the way of me playing it on the big screen was getting a PS TV. It was just a little pocket-sized thing that you buy for, like, 20 bucks. Super cool. And then having the Virtue's Last Reward cartridge or download. You can actually play a lot of, uh, Nint uh I'm sorry, not Nintendo, Sony Vita games, uh, on the PS TV, and I had this. But the problem is, it doesn't really just up-res it and give you that HD as it should. It kind of stretches the resolution. So this is actually an HD make, and it kind of looks, uh, nice. I mean, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but being an HD. Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped tra elevator in the bowels of a top-secret governmental facility where they, con where they conduct grotesque human experiments. Right, uh, back to the first question then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? She had to think about that. I stumped her. Sigma. Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what... Uh, wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. So, this is really, really cool. Like I said, it's very mysterious. I'm not going to go through the whole game on this. This is a game I am certainly going to be playing just because I love it. I've not passed this one. I have passed 999 on the best ending. Um, and I enjoy it. But this one I've not ever I, I I've not actually passed it. I've gotten really far in it, but I've never passed it. So this would be something I'm gonna play, and I'm uh, I, I want to play them all in order again and get the best possible. I don't need all the endings because I'm gonna show you in a minute how many endings there are. But I'm gonna try to get as many. Uh, uh, for me, I'm gonna try to get the best possible ending, and I'll show you how you can tell that also. And then I want to play the new one, Zero Time Dilemma, and if I think that's gonna be entertaining enough, I'll show you guys as well. But. Um, the, the shame of it is if, if you guys, this is more of an if you want to experience it with me kind of thing, because if I, if I play the game and you guys watch me play the game, um, it's going to be a, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm going to spoil all the puzzles. You're going to know how to solve them and that might be fine, but I'm not really doing a walkthrough. I'm trying to kind of try to introduce people to new concepts and new games, you know? I just know it, okay? Hey. No need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up. Well, she got angry quick. Grandpa? And just so you know, I shouldn't be... Uh, she said Grandpa, but my character, I think, is like in his late 20s, early 30s. Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? What do you think this thing is? Huh? And she holds up her opposite wrist, by the way. If you'll notice, she held up her right wrist, but it's actually on her left wrist. See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. Okay, so this, I'm going to kind of skip a little bit uh, of this kind of to go through and, and, because I don't want you guys to get, I, I want, this is a visual novel, right? There's a lot of words and a lot of talking in it. So I, I kind of give you the idea. So here's what's going on, and, and you'll get more of it. We woke up in an elevator. Uh, her and I, this is, I think her name is Fi, if I'm not, Fee, Fi, something like that. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, we have these, like, watches, and these watches don't come off. They're stuck on our wrists. And hers and mine say the same thing, three pair, and we don't know what they do yet. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave, I'm going to try to leave it to the... The character that des ex describes it, because it gets described here in just a minute. Um, I'm going to try to leave that to them. It's pretty cool, this concept. So, uh, you push the buttons. They don't do anything. You can't pull the, the thing off. It is locked on your wrist. It's tight, not enough to cut off the circulation, but definitely too much for you to slip off. Um... Hey, look. There's something on that screen over there. So... And that also will help help kind of keep the sensor warning down a little bit because I, I don't want to read all the 
the w- curse words off. That's kind of the, when you watch a solo video, you kind of get a break from all the the cursing. I kind of want to break those, but I, if it's gonna if it's gonna be a game that's gonna have cursing, or I'm gonna say cursing in it because I'm reading the text, then I'll, I'll always put a warning down there. But just know that you know, hey, I, I get it. You know, solo videos are to break away from the cursing and such, so that's why I don't do it of my own accord. I always like that little bunny rabbit, even though that thing is zero the third, by the way. Um, so we're supposed to be playing this game, and this is the nonary game, and nonary is nine, so it has to do, the, and, and, and like I said, the first game is called 999, so this is the nonary game, or the nines game, so it's still the same kind of game, uh, but it's different, so I'm gonna do this quick, um, alright, and then, uh, okay, uh, uh, Okay, said the elevator is going to fall way down. Alright. This might be a rated M game, noticing some of the language in it. I don't know how it works. Uh, if it is, I'm gonna try, I mean, I'm gonna try to censor out, like, I mean, obviously there's nudity or anything, I'll try to keep that censored out, but... Language is probably gonna be a part of that. I, I just to make sure of it, I'll, I'll do this. So you get these seek away out things here. Like I said, this is not going to be a long video. I'm not going to do anything terribly long or subject to it. It's it's just something I want to introduce you guys to because a lot of people don't know about this game, and it is, in my opinion, super good. It is a really good game. So I really want to show you guys kind of what it consists of and why. Um, and it's <laughs> right there. The game consists of two sections: the escape and the novel. The novel part we're going to kind of skip through, and I'm going to summarize to do this. Um, this is not going to be an hour. It shouldn't be an hour long episode. This is probably going to be you know more like a. Uh, half hour episode maximum, maybe well, maybe maybe forty five minutes, but probably not a, over an hour, um, depending on how good I am at these puzzles. Some of these I have memorized, so uh, just because it, they stick with you, this game really sticks with you. Uh, Axis and Spike Chunsoft did a great job. So uh, L one and R one to change the angle. So we move using the left thumb stick, and then we have to actually use L one and R one to change the angle. Little awkward. Kind of wish they would have mapped that. Can I map? Can I map it? I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game, though. I might be able to map it. Let me see if I can push the, uh, oh. Saving. I love how the, the, I have the most advanced version of the one of the most advanced consoles. It's, uh, see all those question blocks? It's, uh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, and we're on hard mode. We're gonna leave it there. Um, flow. Here we go. So this is, I want to give you an idea. So this is novel puzzle, okay? And you can go back and play these section for section, but I want to show you how many how many different factors you have. So this is probably novel. This is going to be a choice I can make. In that is going to be different storylines, right? So if I choose, I think it's a, a door of a certain color. I think it's blue, yellow, or pink. So blue, yellow, pink. And then there will be novel, and there will be uh, puzzles, and there will be choices. And then I will get, now I'll get a choice to make another choice here, or another choice here, and another choice here. And you can see that these actually break off into subsections. And if you pay attention, each of those choices break off into more subsections. And then some of those choices continue down. So if you guys are wanting to know, this is the big question, what is going to be the good ending, most likely? And the answer is, I don't have to play, I, I definitely want to get all of these, just because it's super cool. Because each of these represent a new game, a new puzzle. That I can play, but if you're asking yourself what is a good ending and what's prob what's probably a, the best ending and what's probably the worst, well, the odds are that the best ending is one of these two, right? Because it goes further. It means I probably have died here, somewhere, and if I get these two, I get to keep going. So these are probably the best ending. One could be the absolute worst. I could get tortured forever, but the odds are the longer ones are going to be the best ending. It could be a love interest and a best ending. It could be a solo best ending. That yeah, I don't know. The other side is what is the worst ending and that's the opposite which this over here is probably the worst ending and It looks like uh, that that is actually an inevitability if you choose this path of choices So this right here this choice Automat this is the first choice that I get to first major choice I get to make in the game right Impacts whether I can even get the best ending because if I choose wrong I'm on this path or this path. I can no longer if you take it take a look I can no longer get over here to these trees. So I have to pick everything completely right. 
Because even if I end up on this path, I still have all these other paths that I can end up on that are wrong. So it's just like, oh, it's super cool. I'm, I, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, da -da -da -da, log, I think it's just audio log, uh, just what I've been told. And I can write notes down here. Watch this. Um, I want um, red. Do, 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 do. There. And, oh, did we look at this guy over here? And uh, I think we're doing a defensive play this way. I gotta be honest with you, that's actually, uh, that probably looks bad. I should probably change it. Sorry about that. Let's just trash that, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, a lot of cool- I, I, I get nerded out about a couple of things. Memos, I can make notes on things, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, just all kind oh, and I can- they have quick button features, I didn't realize that. And then archives, which are pretty cool. So this is like all the help and all this stuff. Alright, so. Uh, I can't remap the buttons, but I can tell you I know already- ooh, this moves nice and smooth, though. I like that. So just so you guys know, the original version moved like this, and then it automatically moved you really fast over here. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get this. Okay. Alright, we're good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna get out. Boom. Come over here. We need to get all these... I, I know. I get it. We need to get all of these uh, little colored handles out here. Alright. And I'm gonna do this kind of kind of quick. Like I said, I know this puzzle. This is the first puzzle of the game, so I've done it many times in my many attempts to try to get through this game. And it's not because I've been bored. It's just always not having the time and then forgetting... Um, I guess, forgetting where I am in the story and then having to start over again. Okay, so... Uh, does that let me move over? It sure does. I wish that was still, I still wish that was on the left, the right thumbstick. Alright, so now we're gonna come over here. Um. Okay, um. Oh, I see, okay, I see what they did with the right stick. Okay, I'm cool with that. Alright. Um, so here maybe? Uh, okay, here. Yes, it does. Let me see if you go, no, because you need a key, right? Is it locked? Looks that way. Yeah, da da. Wait. You mean the pin? Okay, cool. Okay. I already knew that, so that's what was going on. And then inside, da -da 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 we have. Okay, I know. I know how to do it. Okay. I no, I know how to do it. So we have the triangular tip, the square tip, the pen the pentagonal, and the hex hexagonal tip. We all know where those go. Next trick is the poster, up here. I'm gonna take a peek at this. Alright. Uh, uh, there we go. And we have to count the amount of babies and the amount of old people. Let's just try counting that already, so you can see. So, the uh, kids in between age don't count, so we have, uh... I'll count the old people first, there's the old lady at top. There's one, two, three, the guy with the cane. Uh, the guy that's sleeping and blowing a snot bubble, that's three. The guy that's reading the map, that's four. Uh, I don't think the prostitute looking lady counts um, as an old woman because she's still got not white color in her hair. So, uh, okay, four, uh, the lady that's knitting's five. Uh, the lady that's leaning heavily on the cane is six. And the old man playing croquet is seven. Life would be infinitely happier if we could be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know why that font's so weird and difficult to read from where I am, too. I don't know if it's weird on the capture, but it's definitely weird here. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, what did I say? Five, six, seven old people. So I see the little thing that says, eh, right there. See, that's the eh sign. So I said seven. Okay. Alright. Alright, and then I'm gonna hit- oops. I gotta get used to which- I, I hit every button that was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the babies. That's one, two, three, four, wait. There's the bare-bottomed baby. And the one that's sleeping on face that had was concussed and the bottom left and the one that's sleeping in the 
uh, the marijuana joint wrapping, um, and the one that's about to sneeze at the very top. Okay, so there's four babies. All right. Uh, there's the yay. Oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry. And there it is. Four. Four. And then I have the bunny, and the bunny says, how many bunnies were on there? There were no bunnies. I did it. Hey, did you just hear noise? I freaking did. I get a blue freaking card. All right, so now, look what's down here. Different shapes and different colors. So I've got to go, I've got to start combining stuff. Um, so I need to combine this with the square tip. I need to combine the yellow one with the uh, triangular tip. I need to combine the red one with the uh, hexagonal tip. Whoop, 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 whoop. And the green one with the pentagonal uh, one. Alright, cool. And then I can use them on uh, those. No, 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 no. I know I'm not. Leave me alone. Uh, the blue one. I don't get... So here's my thing. I don't get why the... I, I, maybe I'm overthinking. I don't get why I couldn't just use the one tool with the different tips on them. I don't know why I needed a different actual tool for each one of them. Maybe the dip, maybe the tools had... The bits had different fittings on the bottom. Um, I don't know. So then we take this off. And we have a puzzle. And you're sitting there going, hey, didn't you get that blue card and it goes down there in the bottom? No. That's my prize. There are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. This is a, a fun game, but I, I think it's kind of tough. It's a gra like a gravity game. So we're going to try this now. I need to get the green block on the blue. Okay. Wait. Um. Oh. See, so you can kind of see the gist of this, uh, which is pretty neat. I did that pretty quick, because I solved that one I solved in my head. That one never causes me any issues, just kind of like, eh, I can do this. Alright, so then now I got the green thing. Now I get a green memory card, so now I have the green memory card and the blue memory card. Alright, so then I put that back, because I don't need it anymore, and then, whoops. And then I can go, um, oh, wait a minute, though. There is something else. Uh, there is something else, because, check this out. There's a red memory card. All right. So see, there's a red memory card, so I need to find the red one real quick. Um, that is something I don't exactly remember. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, I don't need it to pass the puzzle. I think I just need it to get the gold file. Um, okay, I've already gotten every- wait, 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 wait. Okay, I already did that. Did the tools, did the thing with the baby. Is it something else to do with this where I revert? Whoops. Okay. Um. One. Wait. Three. There we go. I figured if I kept pushing buttons, I think that was all I did. I was just like, I'm gonna push buttons some more. So now I'm gonna put the red one in. And when I put it in, nothing happens. But when I put the green one in, I will get a code, I think. Maybe. Yes, I got star, sun, moon. Uh, okay. And then, uh... Hold on, wait. 
All right, so then now there's Uh oh. Okay. So now, whoop, uh, okay, so now I back off and I have this safe. And the reason I get the other one, the other password, is because you get two passwords. I got two passwords, and that means I did really good on the puzzle. I'll explain in just a second. So I have to, whoops, I have to hit this button. Safe in the elevator, and I got, so I want to do uh, sun, sun, moon first. So I'm going to hit the button. I. I get it. She's just telling me what this, what everything that I'm seeing, and she's giving me snappy banter. I think her name is Phi. I think it's PHI. Well, now I've done screwed myself up. Okay, I know. I, I I'm good. I I know. God dang it. Uh. Yeah, Sun Sun Moon. All right. So then I gotta go... Uh, wait, hold on. S sun, wait, sun? Sun, moon. Uh... And then I did that, and it's like, yeah, you won, but I didn't win the puzzle, hold on. This is the, g uh, oops. That's the gold file. So I don't get anything real. That's just more story, it's supplementary facts, background information of the novel. So it's not necessary for escaping. You have to open the safe with the escape password. So check this out. I'm gonna go back, and then the safe is gonna close again, and then I have to put in the other password, which is Star Sun Moon. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Star, Sun, Moon. And then it gives me another one, and that should be the the key to my escape, literally. All right, come on. All right, so you're probably at uh, okay. All right, you're probably yes, I know where it is. Freaking car to a Mitsubishi. Eh, okay, I gotta use it here. That is wrong. Up here. Here. Alright, uh, open. Open, and now I push the big red button. Boom. Okay, so, to kind of give some exposition on that, I mean, I'm doing this obviously kind of quickly because I want to get past that part, but to give you an idea of kind of how this is working, um, the the whole game is a puzzle game. The whole point of it is horror, and then that's what you get. You found it! I earned a trophy that's escapee. Um, but basically, if you do puzzles well, you get out of the of the predicament you're in, and, and the story goes on. But if you do them really well, like if you're really good at puzzles, like I randomly hit the... I remembered that you had to hit a button. I couldn't remember what button, but there was only ten to try. Um... I, uh, I was, I pushed random buttons on that rabbit and I got another one, so. I knew it. Let's see. Sick well, pff, screw you. Um. Fine. On your knees. You're a little tall for me to just be certain. Okay. Okay, so, um, but anyway, the, the the reason I'm kind of showing this is because the game gets fairly, the stakes kind of go up, because right now we're escaping an elevator that was about to fall, right? She did a weird jump, and now I'm going to have to be like, I, she can't fly, she had to get on your shoulders anyway, you just pushed her up. That's what happened. I got, I would, depending on my size, I don't know that that's a good idea, I might just pull you right back in the elevator. The heck? I'm not a caiman either, so you don't really need to worry. My name is Fi. Fi, I was right. Yeah, okay. I can say you are no man. I can say you're a very odd woman. I can say you are no man. I can say you are woman. All right, and so the suspense. Oh, look, the door with the number nine already. And yeah, see, there's that pink door and the blue and the yellow door that I was talking about, and a thing that says, uh, "The Milkman Go Comedy." 
So, the, the trick is, I don't know if you see the boxes on the right there. There is no elevator. We are simply in a box. Or, yeah, we're simply in a box, and it was all a ruse. We weren't going to fall anywhere. It's just there. It was just trying to motivate us. I wasn't real startled by it because I knew that was going to be the case, but it's really cool because this it's, it's little twisted things like that that this game starts to do. This is a nudity thing. She's not naked. She's wor she's using that, that necklace to keep her covered, but God is just barely doing it. No, we don't. Her, uh... There we go. I mean, it's a little bit... Ooh, his mouth is moving kind of weird. Um... So that's you. That's Sigma, right? That's Zero. And then, if you notice, he's got the watch, too. And I'm gonna kind of... I'm gonna kind of skip... I'm gonna skip kind of quick on this. Basically, so that you know... I like Dio. Uh, basically, so that you know... I, I... And I guess I'm just gonna explain it. But the watches on our wrist, essentially are going to it, it, here's here's how it works if we ta if we tamper with it I should say um, we I don't think we can get them off I don't think if we tamper with it it makes much difference if we find something that we can tamper with it that would potentially break it then it will I, just because I'm skipping this to make it more interesting somewhat more interesting the watch will uh, dis it will dispatch uh, how, how do I want to say this it will it will put there are needles on the underside Okay, where our wrists are and the needles will pop out and they will stick in you and they will put a lethal poison into you Is what will happen and then you will die so all these puzzles you had like if you try to escape um, Or if you try to break he'll give some rules in a minute if you try to break the rules then it will have a uh, poison put into you there's a lot of story though, and just so you can see, I mean, it, like I said, a lot of story, and the reason being is just because it is a novel-esque game, right? But I, I'm probably not going to do a whole bunch of, uh, more in this. I, it's just This is just a little showcase game. I'm going to be playing more of it, definitely. I'm going to go ahead and read this really quick. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehousey room we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out that they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Phi and I appeared. So, nine is a big theme in these games. Uh, I, I don't know about this other, um, uh, the, the zero time dilemma. I'm sure nine's probably going to factor into that, too. But nine is a big part of zero, uh, Virtue's Last Reward. And it's definitely a big part of 999, the game that is called 999. So, uh, but we have all these other... So here's the thing that's adding a little bit of context, or a little bit of extra um, uh, issue, is these two women, the little boy, the D.O. guy with the top hat, the uh, uh, old man, um, and she's telling us where all of them came from, uh, they are all playing the same game. They don't know why we're here, at least allegedly... I'm gonna say that. Allegedly, they don't know know why we're here. So there's that. And then on the opposite side of the fact, they are also like some of them are needed to get certain puzzles uh, uh, done. So you, I, so like some of the choices that I'm gonna make in that big tree that I was telling you are heavily dependent on who I partner up with. So ba basically, I could partner up with the ladies. I could partner up with the old man. I could partner up with Fi. I could separate from Phi and partner up with other team members, I guess. I just want to let this other... This is the Ambidex room. Yeah. Ambidex. Everybody knows Ambidex. Ambidex means you can use your right and your left the same. We're waiting. I just kind of want to introduce the other characters in here. So, and these guys all kind of fit a stereotype. So, like, she's... I think she's a nurse. She's, like, supposed to be real sweet and gentle. And then you have the kid, and he's supposed to be like cute comic relief, but the tough kid. And you have Ten Miyoji, uh, and Ten Miyoji there is the uh, the old man is just like, mm, man, everything's just kind of sucks, doesn't it? And then you have Dio. Dio's kind of the smart mouth. He's like, yeah, well, so they've taken everything we were carrying. Mm, wonderful. <laughs> um, you know, he's kind of the smart mouth. Oh God, dang it. My own were completely empty. So he's talking about the uh, pockets. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. 
All right. No, there's somebody in the other elevator. We gotta find out who that is. And what makes you so sure? Um, so we're trying to find the other characters, and uh, there they are. I don't know why he has a bucket and two boxes on his head. I don't know. I never got that. I never got what that was supposed to be. There we go. I want to kind of tantalize you guys a little bit with some story. The girl in that guy's arm her name is Clover, and she is actually a very big part of the first game. 999. Yeah, there you go. Clover. Alice is not a part of the game, so there is a connection between the two. So Clover is now in this game again. She's been she was in the 999 game. And she is here again being threatened by the same guy in a different game. And apparently Alice knows her, but Alice was not in the first game. So this all ties together in in a really cool and interesting fashion. Um, although I can say in the first one, like in this one, Clover... This is kind of like the epitome of, I guess... Alice, your face is looking a little bee stung there. Um, and then the Masked Man, which I think they just call... Uh, I think they just call him Nine. Okay, my, I could be wrong. Anyway, um, it's kind of a thing for like growing up, but what my point is, is uh, Clover is, uh, she is like a cutesy young character in the first one. She's got like big pigtails. In this one, she looks like the kid that was just trying to become 18, you know, just trying to get her own identity. Oh, by the way, the masked man, we can't see who he is. Uh, and he has, uh, amnesia. So, the, I don't know, I, I really don't know who's under that. I hope it's one of the guys from the first game, but it's not. <laughs> I like the little man's like, eh. Um, he was stuck in that suit, by the way. Alright. Yeah. You can see, yeah, she's kind of looking like she's trying to go out and... Trying to be 18 and edgy and... I'm gonna wear half clothes, half my clothes, and get a face tattoo. That makes no sense. I never understood why anybody would would randomly get a face tattoo. I know there are people that are into like body modifications and stuff like that. I get that. I mean, that's fine, right? You're you're trying to achieve, but just to get a random, one-off little face tattoo, never. I mean, okay. I should clarify. Getting a full-on face tattoo, I get body modders. I understand that, right? I, that's their thing. It's not my thing. It's not a big deal. The other side of it, the teardrop, is symbolic. I understand that, too. I understand the symbolism of it. But just getting a random, like, plus right there, which I know is not symbolic. It's just cutesy. Stuff like that. I, and I've seen people that'll do this, like, the one little thing, and it doesn't have any symbolism behind it. That I don't understand. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. She's gonna, no, not again! Because Clover was part of, <laughs> the Clover was part of the first one. The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? Now, uh, your character Sigma is not in the first game either. You're playing a different character altogether. I can't remember his name, but he's not the same guy. So Clover is literally, at this point, the only person that we are aware of that has now participated in... The, by the way, well, let me read this really quickly and I'll do it. As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. Okay. So, uh, the first game, essentially, that is, was a similar horrific experience. The um, bracelets or whatever you were wearing at that time exploded. They just blew you up. And we got verification. A guy literally was like, I'm going to break the rules. He's lying. He's bluffing. And sure enough, blew straight up. And the time limit was put on the fact that we were in a sinking boat. A boat that was literally sinking. It had a hole in the bottom of it. And we had to escape before we all drowned. But if we tried to break the rules, we just got blown up anyway. And one of the nine guys got blown up and made the puzzles more difficult because the puzzles all had to do with math. Uh, or had they had like a math thing, like a like a true root or something weird like that. I'll have to go back and do it again. But uh, point being is now this one's poison, and we're not in a sinking ship, so the urgency is still there for the 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 wristbands, but the urgency is not there for the the sinking ship. Uh, this but to the man in the mask, we asked him everything we could think of: birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. Um, but. Clover was in that sinking ship with the wristband that could have blown up playing the same game for the same sadistic person kind of like saw it's like Let's play a game 
This is Zero. That's who Zero is. She's already been subject to his, like, ridiculously, um, uh, uh, demented game, and now this is her second go-around. He was making a laughing sort of noise. But his expression didn't change. Of course it didn't. He's wearing a mask. With a mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not. But his voice sure didn't make sure didn't make it sound like he was. I have to say, um, although I like Dio and all this other bull, uh, all the other bull about the characters, I think the Masked Man so far is my favorite. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that he trusted the robot man per se, that we trusted the robot man per se, only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours, and not simply a part of his suit. And just like ours, his had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and the text was bright green. So instead of him just being put in this... So not only is this guy put in this suit, we don't know why he's put in this suit. We don't even know who is in the suit. Now, he, my guess, this is just my guess, I've not gotten far enough to get... For him, this guy to have the suit taken off of him, or the mask at least... Um, but, my guess is it's a character from the first game that I will have, if I've played the game in order, which I have, like I said, completed 999. Nine, nine. If it is that, someone from that, I am super stoked. There are a couple of characters I really freaking loved from that first one, so I, I kind of am excited to see that. But, they fit the suit around his watch, so this this watch is still very much, the, the poison needles are at his wrist, just as much as they are ours. And Clover's, uh, okay. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. Notice also that while hers says three pair, three pair, and mine and Fi said three pair, three pair, her, theirs are green and ours were red. That's also significant. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head, and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours, days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch, and they'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me, and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped, and we wouldn't have had the first idea. And then two ellipses, because that's completely necessary for an inner monologue, I guess. So, um, anyway, point being, I, I, I know that that was kind of quick, and that this is kind of short. I know this is probably about a 30-minute episode, that's what I expected it to be. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it here. Um, but the point being is, I really want to introduce you to this, and the only reason that this is a this is incredibly atypical. Um, I know that I probably uh, I've done a lot of uh, this 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 month is going to be done with like my intention was to do like Kingdoms of Amalur, uh, which I thought was going to be a very left field video because it's not horror per se, but it does have a nice horrific starting and it does have a lot of creepy elements. I mean, you wake up in a corpse pile. Um, this game, I really wanted to pull because of how scary it is. My my point is not to show you the scary parts, but to introduce you to games that I feel could give you a good scare. This is one of those games. I mean, literally, the, stre the tensions are mounted. Your choices all matter, and there gets to be a part. I know at least in 999 there did. I don't know about here, but there gets to be a there gets to be a part where you're worried about getting your 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 hands cut off with an axe and murdered at with an axe towards the end. And so I just kind of want to play a little bit, show you kind of what type of game it is, see if it's something you might be interested in, and then let you know that this does get scary. I mean, like it's 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 a different kind of scary. You're not worried about what's around the corner, but you're worried about screwing up and getting poisoned to death or these people who you don't know, by the way, and the first one was a theme, they can betray you, and it's it's completely based off of the story. You can make an accidental enemy, and then when they finally get pitted against you, because, they, like in Saw, they say, oh, well, you know, you're, you're in order for you to survive, you're going to have to kill X, right? Um, they, they start getting desperate, and they start going after you, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's really cool. I know it's way out in left field, but the point is to kind of give you guys something that would give you that October Halloween scary experience, and the beginnings of this game won't do it, but it will when you start getting into the thick of things, probably, you know, the next couple of puzzles. Right after that, it's going to start going fast and furious. So, uh, as always, I'm going to leave a uh, link so that you can purchase these games uh, below. I am, in this case, going to include just the nonary games. I'm not going to put Zero Time Dilemma down there just because Zero Time Dilemma is not put, uh, it, not a part of this yet. I probably will do a separate video if I can get... Uh, they find an interesting way to showcase this uh, type of, of game.
a very interesting way, I should say. Uh, however, as always, if you have played this game, are playing this game, experiences have been made, or are you're making experiences and you want to share them, let me know in the comments below, and especially if you picked up this game as a result of this video, I love knowing that, so let me know. Otherwise, coming up next, another October-worthy video game.